Genesis collection is crap. Where the heck is the rest of my stuff? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, heck with it, I'll just use my multi card. Where the heck's the multi card at? Oh, gee, Sonic. Uh, hey, uh, look, I can explain that, okay? That was. That's for review. It's it's for review. I I was gonna do a review on it. Really. Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here, and today we're gonna talk about the Boom Super 112 and One Sega Genesis Mega Cartridge. That's right. Got this off of Etsy for 30 bucks delivered. Not a bad deal. 40 elsewhere. Got those inside deals. <sighs> no, really, it was it was that price for everybody. Uh, if the guy's still on Etsy, I'll I'll uh, I'll link it up. Anyway, this is uh, you know one of those pirate carts that they can't sell on eBay, but still do. But for whatever reason, they don't sell the Genesis ones there. Uh, so I ended up getting on Etsy. If you've never been on Etsy, it's like a pirate paradise over there. Anyway, looking on the back, we see two Phillips head screws. Not security screws. Looking on the front, we have a lovely printed label. Um, it's actually not bad. It's got, it, it's actually glossy and feels decent. And, you know, the print quality is nice. I mean, it's a, you know, kind of a generic print that somebody didn't spend too much time on, but at least it looks good and wraps around to the top. The plastics on the cartridges are okay, or at least the one I got is okay. I'm guessing they might have just reused some sports carts for this, you know, like some, you know, Madden stuff or something for it. So it, it feels pretty good and, uh, you know, looks okay. But what really matters is how does this thing play? And let's go play some games on it, shall we? All right, so here we are on the main menu, and I am indeed using real hardware. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go through the games real quick. I'm not going to read every one of them to you, but I am going to page through every one so you have an idea whether the game you want is on this thing or not. There is actually a pretty good selection of games on here, and they don't repeat so far as I can see. There we go, 21 through 40. The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Not all of them are really great, but some of them are. We got McDonald's Treasure Land. We're totally going to play that in this video. Totally. No, I'm not kidding. We're going to. Sunset Riders is really pretty good, too. There's a lot of mention of pirates in this. I wonder why. Space Harrier 2. That's not too bad. Darius 2. That's fun. Zero Wings. Good. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Granada. Super Hang On. That was a very popular game back in the day. In fact, I think I got the original Sega Master System for that game. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That'll be nice. And then Outrunners. Yeah, there's Outrun. Alright, so let's... Pick a game and play it, shall we? I'm going to actually start with... I need to quit saying actually. I actually need to quit saying actually. Anyway, Contra Hardcore. Or Corpse. A very hard corpse. That's an older corpse. For you who are not corpse experienced. Yep, nothing but winner on this station. Alright, let's play this. As I recall, I don't think that the reviews were very good for this. I could be wrong about that. Feel free to tell me, you know, that I'm totally wrong. Because I probably am. Yeah, emergency. Bunch of crud. Bunch of crud. Bunch of crud. Yeah, some of these are in, uh, in Japanese, so... <laughs> I recall this is like extraordinarily hard. Doesn't see. Oh, no, you don't. Nah, I don't think so. 
Oh no, not that hard. Must have the wrong version in mind. Anything gonna fly over? Oh, chaser's nice. Yeah, this isn't too bad, huh? I had a Genesis when I was like, I don't know, I must have been like 20 something. Uh, and it didn't last real long with me just because the SNES had some games that I really wanted, so I ended up switching over to it. But I thought the Genesis was pretty good. Come on now. This kind of crap will drive you nuts. Come on, really? How many bullets you got to put in it? Well, that many, apparently. There we go. <laughs> this thing's going to jump over here, isn't it? Oh, come on. You just sit there and die. Do, 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 do. He looks like he's dancing. Do, 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 do. And there he goes. All right. Playing too long. Oh, you gotta actually turn this thing off and turn it back on again. That is sad. Gunstar Heroes. I show that every time I do these. Let's do, um, should I do something from every page, maybe? I'll do it that way. All right, let's do, uh, <laughs> let's do Double Dragon. No, no, let's not do Double Dragon. I've already done Comic Zone. I think I've done, have I done Growl before? I think so. I do Battletoads, but everybody, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. We'll go with, uh. <laughs> Alicia Dragoon. I have not played this, so let's try that one. Sega. Produced by Game Arts. Associated with... What is that? Ganax? 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 I don't know. Ganax. Music composed by Meccano Associates. For the love of Pete, would you start? Come on. Ooh, this looks pretty good. This could be an adventure game. If it's an adventure game, it's not a very good idea because uh, one of the missing things on this is you can't save games. Which, you know, some of the multi-carts I have in the past, you could save games. So, ah, it's not really an adventure, so not a big deal. What the blue... What the... There. Really? All right. Well... Yeah, it's actually... It's actually pretty good. Well, am I running out of it, though? Oh, so I gotta regenerate it somehow, huh? Or do I just regenerate by not using it? Yeah, it just regenerates by not using it. I haven't played this game before. This is kind of neat. Not bad. A little, a little samey so far. I don't necessarily think you should put all your best stuff like at the beginning of the game, but you should definitely Put early variation in. Here, can I change the weapon now? Let's see. Hmm. No, but anyway, I think you should put a lot of variation at the beginning. Just to keep people drawn in. There we go. Now we're getting something. A little something, something. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. I've gotten hit a lot. 
Oh yeah. Bats. It's a little bit like an updated Forbidden Forest. Just a little, little, little bit. Not much anymore. Hidden? Let's see. Hmm. Huh. Goodies. All right, so that was kind of a hidden spot. I'm almost dead here. Go. No. There's a slime. It's not an adventure game without a slime. Do I have any other weapons? No, I can jump. And the top three are not used, so it only uses the bottom three buttons. There's a note, I think, uh, in the sale of this that said that you should only use this with a six button controller. So you might want to note that, although I don't see in the cartridge what would make that a thing. I tried it with a three button controller and it worked, so I don't know. Don't know why they said that, but. All right, here we go, we got a boss. You've done well to come so far. <laughs> Look at that. Demo. But you are too late. Alright. And more of the same. Alright, let's go on to the next game. Batman, Robin, Robocop, Strider, seen it, seen it. We've all seen <laughs> Mr. Nuts. I think I said I'd try uh, McDonald's <laughs> Treasure Island. Mr. Nuts, didn't they make a PC version of that? I think it had an actual series on the PC. I am almost sure of it. There's like uh, Mr. Nuts Wild Ride, like Mr. Do. Oh, look at this one, doesn't work. At least it doesn't work on this device. Ah, that's interesting, huh? Mmm. No McDonald's for me. That was weird. Although I think they said that you have to wait on some of them, too. Let's see. I don't know enough about this game. I, I'm not going to waste time actually waiting for it. That would be kind of boring. I mean, I could edit it, I suppose, but... Come on. <laughs> Mr. Nuts. Well, there's a password system in this one, so no worries there. Uh, hit start, I suppose. <laughs> Here's Mr. Nuts. Wait, can he throw anything? Can he throw... Can... Oh. He's attacking apple people. These graphics are pretty nice on this, though. Oh, check it out. They split in half when he hits them. Oh, no, that one just mushed. Well, not too bad. Wait. Can I throw those? Yes, I can. Oh, good stuff. And coins. I said this controls and plays pretty well. I don't mind this game. I mean, I'm not doing terribly well, but. All right, let's get that B. I like the size of the creatures in this. It's like huge. There, nice. This would have definitely been pretty impressive. Had I, uh, seen it when I originally had the Genesis. Wait, there we go. Alright, let's go on. Okay, 
day we were at. Let's do, uh, I don't think I've done Set Set Riders yet on uh, this station, so let's do that one. Not gonna be saving. Let's see, I'll be Billy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hmm. Poorly played. I am not playing it well. I was totally naked there. We messed up. <laughs> no, I suck. Next. Should I do uh, zero wing? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Battle Mania. All right, we'll do uh, zero way. Too much talking. Not enough shooting. This looks very 8-bit, so far. Ooh. Ugh. Really? Really? Yeah, I like this. I assume I can fly. Oh, look at that. They crunch themselves to fit. What does this do? <laughs> Beam them up. I mean, it's a little... Uh, you know, plain Jane, but not too bad. Not too bad. Got a third button? No. And I'm dead. Keep going. Oops. So I did zero wing. I think I did something off of here, right? Yes, I did. Good. Okay, so we're on the last page. Uh, let's do Street Fighter 2, I think. We can do Road Rash, though. Let's do Road Rash. Road Rash would be good. Tour de Force. Hmm. This was the first system I played this on. I thought it was pretty darn nice. It's not aged the best, though. I'm pretty sure, wasn't there an Amiga version of this? I think there was. Could have swore I ended up picking it up on the Amiga, and I thought the graphics looked a lot better on the Amiga. As I recall, I was like, dang, it looks way better. As it should. Well, not really. I don't know, the cars look pretty good. It, <laughs> the game feels a little bit chunky here. Let's, uh, 
let's do a fighting game real quick before we uh, finish up. And then maybe we'll uh, we'll go back and see if that McDonald's thing was a fluke. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Game start. <laughs> Guy looks terrible in this. Come on. Come on, be a sucker. Oh, he That's rustiness right there. There. Oh, no, really? No, you are not going to do that. You're down, buddy. You win. As I recall the SNES version, this looked a lot better, too. But it does at least support six buttons. Oh no. Yeah, you get me a distance and start shooting fireballs at me, you bastard. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, I'm out. And so is this. So how is the 1, 12, and 1? Well, I'm going to say that it's pretty darn good. Construction quality of the cartridge, it, you know, it just feels like a standard Genesis cartridge. I mean, there's nothing special about it or bad about it at all. The print quality on the cover is very nice. I mean, it, you know, it has a good original look. It doesn't look like a cheap print, <laughs> a cheap print job was done. I mean, it's kind of boring, but other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, the selection of games that are on it, I mean, it's got a lot of games that you just necessarily wouldn't be able to find easily in the wild. By the way, I did pop this cartridge back in later and try McDonald's and it did work. So all the games did end up actually working on it, just so you know. That might happen every once in a while where you have to, you know, you have a game that just doesn't work and then you pop it out, reseed it, and boom, it works. So... Uh, be aware of that. The price was right around $30 or $40. I do think you should note that you cannot save games with this. It's not going to be able to save any games. So like games like Sonic that originally did have a save function, not going to have it. But $30 to $40, it's pretty easily worth it. You know, you got to deal with the fact that, you know, do you feel comfortable buying what is essentially a pirate product? And, you know, that's, that's up to you to decide. But as far as the mechanical and operational merits of it, I'm going to give it a thumbs up, especially for the price. Not bad at all. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Got a whole bunch of crazy stuff in. I cannot wait to show you. Uh, I'm going clone crazy. So more clone stuff coming up. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos